Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is Jonas Report is for the 8th of January. And, well, we've been seeing some overnight volatility. And, again, this is all related to uh, more missiles, the Iran situation, the political turmoil. This really isn't about uh, economics at this particular point simply because we don't have any new data to go off of that's going to result in uh, giving us clarity. But uh, now you get into the fear factor. And that's always the best part of the market because that creates beautiful swings. And intraday, we can follow them nicely. Uh, we can see, though, that, that from a daily standpoint, we're seeing some conversion here, uh, the potential of some significant weakness. We do have a steel reset completely, though, uh, from an NQ standpoint. So even with the cyan breaching over, not likely to have a dramatic impact just yet. But if that uh, steel should pop back up um, and then right back below it, we could see some potential fill back. Um, but it's just going to be a matter of waiting for that to unveil. Uh, I would say, though, that once we have cyan above, uh, you have to be prepared for um, additional weakness, uh, given what we're seeing. Now, of course, it's the start of the day, and things can change dramatically, um, as we'll see from the 5K chart from the pre-market when the first rockets and that happen in light volume. There's always chaos. From a euro standpoint, it's just right back into the normalized range. It still has to fill this positive extreme back down at the 110.7 range. So I think if that gets done, then there's the potential for it to have a better uh, sustainability. Uh, from an oil standpoint, uh, that's just going to continue to spark uh, the tension and the question mark of will uh, oil assets be you know impacted by this whole rocket display that's taking place. And so that's what's going to fuel um, breakout. Uh, but that's irrelevant to the underlying idea that uh, there's economic growth that's really spawning um, oil consumption, which will ultimately create the inflation. And that is what led to this gold run before. And now you have there's just this outlying spike of uh, volatility based on the uh, whole global political situation from an intraday standpoint. We had a couple of peaks. We were just above that um, 3244 resistance, and then um, we started to get some DOC spreads. And then finally, it just uh, cascaded a little bit lower there. Um, the interesting thing about these, each of them had decent resets of uh, steel going through, but uh, they just couldn't get, uh, in this particular case, at the secondary one. Uh, this one had the dip of the orange going below, which gave the spike back up. Here you didn't get it, and that's what led to the sustained decline. Before we got our lovely orange, which also had green above cyan, which is clearly a buy at that point, and we were approaching a positive shakeout at that particular spot. And you can see, though, even though it did that, it still came back to the entry point off that, and that's often something you're going to see. And I think even a little bit later, it's like you'll get a little bit of a rally, you'll get uh, some momentary weakness, which is usually that little collapse portion of the steel coming back underneath. Uh, it happened right about here. In this case, he had a couple bars, but still uh, went back to the low. It's just an indication that you have potential to uh, jump back in, so to speak. Uh, plus, this one had a dip below the red line, which meant it had to be retraced. It did, and boom, that's what led to its takeoff. And a beautiful DOC spread, which yeah, it didn't do a whole lot the first run. Um, what it did give, though, was that nice... Um, Dip below the red line, so you knew it was going to come back to that, which it did a little later. But then, um, right at the peak, beautiful DLC spread it was just a classic, straight up, nothing, no hold barred. Cyan shoots above, green below, reds below zero. Uh, you got all everything you want right there. Then immediately you get dip below the red line, so you're not even thinking about doing anything. And that was the end of the day, leading into the apocalypse uh, after hours as we broke through and we were expecting to come down to these uh, levels anyway because these were uh, positive extreme markings that i gave from a couple of days ago that uh, needed to be filled and there you go that's exactly how it works and sure enough um we based down at the bottom of it and finally uh, got our p2x's now this one certainly is a buy with that uh, dip below the, the red line and the rising green the issue i have with it would be uh, the sustained level under the negative 13.5. I usually like to see that uh, previous peak broken um, before uh, thinking that I've got something that's going to carry through. It happened to be right at the 23% where we ended up with the 
multiple and positive shakeout at that particular point, in which case then it's like, okay, I need clear uh, to run with it. Now, from a cover standpoint, from a short standpoint, this is the right spot to cover that short setup because you can see right down at the bottom. And uh, it worked out beautifully. And this is where we are back in after hours. After all of this said and done, virtually no change. <laughs> Uh, right back within this exact same algos and you can see we hit the resistance there popped back above it but then came right back down to it uh, we get the same confluence rate uh, at the uh, 3205 one that we put so uh, the algos are certainly handling it this is nothing that's out of control or uh, as you would say uh, wonky uh, we do have the positive extremes which began literally just above the 3205 um, not a shock right there. It was the low on this bar right here that I'm just marking, which I think is just below here. What are we at? Uh, right at about 32 at that spot. So I think given what we're seeing there, I'm going to stick with the 35, uh, 3205 number uh, simply because it uh, has resonance from the previous marks and also captured uh, this peak area as well. So that's the long and the short of it. As always, I will keep putting up anything that's relevant, but I would expect more roller coaster fun, which is always good. Trade well. Talk to you later.